YouTube, this is 903 Fishing. Today's video has been requested from many subscribers. So today I'm gonna to show you how I rig up my double jig rig under a slip cord. Now this crappie fishing setup can be used without the slip cord as well. And I wanna start this video off by saying this is how I rig up my double jig rig. There are other ways to do this. Other people do it different ways. And if it works for you, that's great. I'm gonna show y'all today how I rig up my double jig rig for crappie. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. If you are subscribed to the channel already, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some crappie fishing, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. All right, guys, I'm about to show y'all a lethal crappie fishing setup. Y'all stay tuned. All right, family, I'm super excited to show y'all how I rig up my double jig rig. Now I'm putting this on my 6.6 one piece ACC crappie sticks. I have 10 pound Power Pro braid on the reel. So this is what we got. In my opinion, this first step is one of your most important steps of this rig. And that is putting this bobber stop on your line correctly. Now, a lot of people have problems with these bobber stops. They say they can't be putting them on correctly. So this is how I put on my bobber stops, okay? Now I use the yarn. I do not use the black beads. To me, those will slip from your eyelids. If this yarn bobber stop is put on correctly, it will not slip on you and it will do the job. So look, this little black tube has this yarn on there. You're gonna put your line through that bobber stop. It doesn't really matter how much line, how much tag in line you pull out of that bobber stop because you're gonna be able to adjust this any depth that you want. So what we do is we take this yarn off of the black tube, okay? So there you go, guys. I have the yarn off of the black tube. Now you're gonna have two strings that come out on either side, right here. Now this is the important part. You can hear it clamp down together or you can feel it, okay? And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not on the video, but you wanna pull this tight, pull this tight. You hear that? I think you heard it right there. That means that this bobber stop is on correctly. You need to hear it clamp down on that, that braid. Now, another very important part is trimming the excess off of this bobber stop. Now, of course, you don't wanna leave your bobber stop looking like this. We're gonna get the tag ends of this bobber stop. You want to clip this as close to that bobber stop as possible, but you don't wanna clip the line, okay? So there's one end, and then here is the second end right there. Now, you are left with your bobber stop. Try and get where y'all can see that right there. There's your bobber stop. Now, it should be on pretty tight, and it is. So you are able to move this bobber stop at any depth that you want to. That is what depth that you're going to be fishing. Now, the next step is easy, of course. You're gonna go ahead and get your bead, all right? Little bead that comes with the bobber stops, guys. It comes with it. Go ahead and put your bead on. Very simple. Your bead is on. Put that down. And then your next step is your slip cork. Now look, these are the Como slip corks from Walmart. You can get three for $1.75 or so. I love these slip corks. I love the shape of them. The crappie can take them down with ease compared to a round bobber. So it's less resistance when the crappie inhales that bait, the jig or the minnow, whatever you're using. But in this case, we're talking about jigs, double jig rig. So when that crappie inhales that jig, he doesn't feel resistance because this slip cork is sliding up and down on the line. So he has no resistance with this slip cork. So he's more than likely going to continue running with that bait. Now you're going to put your slip cork on. You want to start from the top of the slip cork. You want to put it on all the way through, just like so. Right now, you should have your bobber stop, bead, and slip cork on your line right here. The next part of this setup is going to be your barrel swivel, barrel swivel time. For those of y'all who don't know what a barrel swivel is, you are able to attach line on both ends of the barrel swivel. Right now, we're gonna put our braid on one end of the barrel swivel. As far as knots goes, we're about to start tying a lot of knots. 
you can tie the knots however you want. There are plenty of knots out there that work. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I like to use a cinch knot, okay? So I put that tag into that 10 pound braid through that barrel swivel. I'm gonna get me about six inches of line out and I'm gonna wrap it around. And what I do is I'm gonna spin that barrel swivel five to six times. Now once I do that, we're about to make a cinch knot so it, it doesn't need to slip. Wet that line and there's gonna be one hole at the bottom closest to the barrel swivel. When you pull, once you put that through that hole, you pull and it's gonna cinch down on there, just like that right there, okay? Now, you're gonna have excess from that braid that you're going to cut off. Now, once you have that excess cut off from that barrel swivel from the braid, I, I take one size three split shot. You're gonna put this split shot above the barrel swivel. So right now you should have on your bobber stop, your bead, your slip cork, and then you have your barrel swivel attached to the braid with a one size three split shot above the barrel swivel. The next step in this double jig rig is going to be a leader. Now I use 12 pound mono Omniflex. This is cheap mono from Walmart, about two to three dollars for 700 yards. I've had this roll for over a year and still have plenty left. What I do is I take about three feet all right, you're gonna want a pretty long leader because you're using a double jig rig, so you want plenty of room to tie both of those jigs on. I take about three feet. So the next step is you're gonna take your mono, you're gonna put it through that barrel swivel. Same thing that you did with the braid on the other end of the barrel swivel, six to eight inches of line, twist that barrel swivel about five to six times. Once again, guys, you're gonna want to wet, before you tie, wet that mono, and then you're gonna pull, put that mono through that last hole closer to the barrel swivel, and you're gonna cinch it down. There it is right there, cinch, all right? Now, of course, again, you have excess line. I take my clippers, clip that excess line off right there. We are ready to tie on our jigs. First thing you're gonna do is, I use with my double jig rig for crappie under a slip cork, I use two 16th ounce jig heads. Two 16th ounce from, from Eagle Claw right here, nothing fancy. So this first jig head, of course, you're gonna put it through. Now, you wanna tie, I tie my first jig head about six inches from that barrel swivel, six to eight inches from that barrel swivel. Now, what I do first is, I'll go ahead and tie two regular knots for that first jig jig head so there's one and what i mean by that guys is just a regular knot just loop it through i already did it once now i'm going to do it again two so you have your first jig head tied on with two regular knots right there that's all you got guys you take the six to eight inch line that you have and your excess, the rest of your leader. Now this is very important because you want that top jig to be off of that line. I like to tie a loop knot, okay? You're gonna take both lines. Now I'm left-handed. I don't know how this is gonna look on camera. Take both lines, okay? And then grab the jig head with your other hand. Get a couple of inches. You're gonna loop it around and then you see that hole right there? Take that whole jig head and put it through that hole. Now what this does is, this is gonna create a space between the line and the jig head, about an inch or so. You don't wanna go more than an inch. Then guess what? You're gonna do this process two times. There's one knot right there. You go ahead and grab it by the knot, grab the jig head. You're gonna make another loop. Pull that jig head all the way through. Then you're gonna tighten up both ends, just like that right there. So there is your first jig head. This is gonna be your top jig on that double jig rig. All right, guys, the last step in this double jig rig is you're gonna tie on that bottom jig. You're gonna put your tag in through that jig head. Now, what I like to do is I like to keep these jigs about a foot apart. That way you're able to fish two different depths with this double jig rig, of course, with the slip cork on there. You're able to keep these baits in the strike zone longer 
And the last knot that I'm gonna do is that cinch knot. Once again, I'm gonna turn that jig head about five or six times. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this line. And then I'm gonna put that tag in through that bottom hole. And I'm gonna cinch down that knot right there. Same one right there. Now, of course, you want to trim that excess off right there. Now, the next step is going to be putting your jigs on, okay? This is the bottom jig. Whatever jigs that your preference is, these are Slab City right here. You're going to put that jig on. There's the bottom one. And then I also have another Slab City jig right here. You're going to put your top jig on, just like this right here. And that's it guys, this is the double jig rig under a slip cord. All right family, there it is, the double jig rig for crappie under a slip cord. Now if you wanted to use this rig without the slip cord, just do not put the whole slip cord setup on. Tie that barrel swivel to the braid and tie the mono to the barrel swivel and then you're still gonna wanna tie your double jigs on if you wanna use this setup without the slip cord. If you learned something from this video, go ahead and hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed to the 903 Fishing Channel and you love you some crappie fishing, whether it be from the boat bank or the kayak, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. And if you already are a part of the 903 Fishing family, thank you so much. God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Like I said in the intro, I've had a lot of people message me and ask me for a step-by-step -step video on how to rig up this double jig rig for crappie under that slip cord. I hope y'all are as successful with it as I have been in the past. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.